I will explain you a very important message. And uh, I am sure everybody hearing me now uh, believe maybe in God, maybe in Jesus Christ, maybe in many kind of believing. But my message is a different message. I was in 1973 journalist in the newspapers in France and I met somebody coming from the sky that was in a volcano near Clermont-Ferrand. It's a city uh, in the center of France. And uh, this message they gave me changed all my life. And I think it will change all your life too. Maybe you think it's another one who has the truth. Maybe it's another one who said, I am a prophet. You have many false prophets now around the world. Many people who say, I am a messenger. Many people say I am something very important. And me, I would like to say I am not important. I bring to you an important message. And this message explains where we come from. At the origin of humanity, you can believe there was a God who created the life on the earth. You can believe there was evolution from monkey to human being. But my message is different. We have only two ways to explain the origin of mankind, and I bring to you the third one. Um, this one is only a scientific way. The Elohim, the name of this space alien I met, the Elohim came from another planet a long time ago. And the December 13, when I met them, I didn't think that was so beautiful and so wonderful. When I was in the volcano, it was like a feeling to go to this place. I took my, I take my car, took my car, sorry for my bad English, and I went to the volcano, maybe 15 kilometers from the city where I was living, and when I, I was in the center of the volcano, the name is Puy de la Sola, I asked to myself, what am I doing here? I have nothing to do here. And suddenly in the sky, I saw a flashing light, very violent, very high level of light. And this light was coming down very slowly, very slowly. And it looked like a, a bell, a little bit flat, and maybe seven meters diameter, and this uh, UFO, it was a UFO, stopped maybe 30 meters from me. And I must resume because it's a long story and you have everything in my book, the, uh, the book who tells the truth. Uh, the name in English is Extraterrestrial took me to their planet. And I must resume because if I express if I said everything, it needs maybe three or four hours. But to resume, the, a little being came out of this vessel and he said to me to come in the vessel. And he gave me a fantastic message. This message explained that a very long time ago, they came on the earth, people like us, human beings, a little bit different, but like us. You have many differences between uh, people of Sweden, Swedish, and Pygmy, and you have the same difference between them and us, but they are human too. And these beings came a long time ago and they built laboratories, big laboratories. And in these laboratories, only on the earth, where the, there was no life, they created uh, life through DNA and genetic combination. They created uh, plants, uh, animals and finally human beings on their image and the name of these beings is Elohim you can you can read the Bible and in the Bible you you can read the first day God do this the second day God do that the third day God do this but in the original Bible Bible in Hebrew it is not written God it's written the first day Elohim do that. The second day, Elohim do this. And Elohim, maybe you think it's God. No. 
uh, the meaning of Elohim is those who came from the sky. And you understand. For primitive people who say, who see, uh, who saw people coming from the sky, they think, oh, it's God. It can only be God because they cannot understood how people can come from the sky. Now we have space shuttle, we have satellites, and we have many vessels in the sky. And when we see something in the sky, we see, oh, it's a satellite, it's an airplane. But primitive people cannot understand that. And primitive people think it's God. Exactly like if you take an helicopter and if you go to Amazonia or to the Pygmy country and you go down, they think you are a God because they cannot understand how you build that. And they were on the earth and they created life and human being on their image. And after they sent uh, through uh, many uh, messengers, they sent uh, like uh, uh, Moses, Buddha, Mohammed, Jesus. And Jesus was the son of one of them and a girl of the earth. And these messengers uh, were here to prepare to humanity to the time we are living now, the time of apocalypse. Jesus was one of the most important messengers. And his message was necessary to spread the Old Testament everywhere in the world. And this time we are living now, it's apocalypse. It does not mean the, the, the end of the world. It means uh, the, the, end, the, the, the time where everybody can understand. Because now, through scientific way, we can understand. We can create life in laboratory. We can understand how to go from the Earth to other planets. And only now we are able to understand everything. So they give me this message. And they ask me, they give me a mission. And this mission is to build an embassy to welcome them. And I'm sure you will help me to build this embassy. Because in this embassy, they will come to meet all the world governments. And they will come to meet all the press of the world. And they will come with Jesus Christ. And I am sure you, you, you will help me to welcome Elohim, creators of mankind, and Jesus Christ. Because maybe you, all your life, you believe Jesus Christ is alive. And I can explain to you, yes, he is alive. And I meet him on their planet. Because they took me on their planet in the UFO. And they show me all the wonderful things they can do. Because they have 25,000 years advance. And on their planet, they uh, they maintain in life through different body, uh, like cloning. They, they have eight, more than 8,000 people after, after death, they were recreated. And among these people from the Earth, they are alive on this planet with eternal life. On this planet you have Jesus Christ, Moses, Buddha, Mohammed, and many others who are alive. And when you believe, Jesus Christ is alive. You cannot, you can of course not doubt that he is alive. But where? That is a question. Do you think Jesus Christ is alive on a cloud? But you cannot walk on a, on a cloud. And I met him. I met him and he is alive with the Elohim. And if you like to help me to welcome him and to welcome people of this planet who are God for primitive people, but who are not gods because they are human like us. You can help me to build this embassy. Life is short. And from the time you were born to the time you will die, it's not a long time. It's like a little song. But you can have a beautiful hand of this song with me to welcome those who will give us eternal life. So I wait for your help.